In the previous video of COVID series, we discussed about the Sputnik V vaccine, which is based on heterologous prime boost method. Now in this video, we will be discussing about the homologous prime boost vaccination versus the heterologous prime boost vaccination. So as the name suggests, the homologous means we have something same here. And it's actually the same vectors. We see we use the same vectors in multiple or two doses of vaccination. And for heterologous one, we have the two different vectors used in multiple or two doses of vaccination. We see in homologous prime boost, this method delivers same antigen with same vectors on both the doses. Whereas in heterologous prime boost vaccination program, it delivers same antigen but with different vectors on both the doses. So we see here in the homologous prime boost, we have its first dose. It uses vector 1. And in the second dose, it uses the same vector 1. Whereas in heterologous prime boost vaccination, we have the first dose where it uses vector 1 and in second dose, it uses the vector 2. And when we talk about the current examples from global available vaccines, then from homologous one, we have the AstraZeneca or Covishield vaccine or any other inactivated virus type vaccines. And from heterologous prime boost vaccines, we have the only vaccine here that's Sputnik V vaccine. The vector for AstraZeneca or Covishield is the CHADOX1, which is a chimpanzee adenovirus. So in its first dose, it uses CHADOX1. And in its second dose, it also uses the same vector for delivering the gene of interest. And here both the vectors deliver the gene for glycoprotein S of SARS-CoV-2, that's S protein. On the other hand, we have the Sputnik V vaccine that has heterologous prime boost method. Here we use two types of vectors, type 26 human adenovirus vector and type 5 human adenovirus vector. In its first dose, we use RAD26, which is the recombinant form of type 26 human adenovirus. Whereas in its second dose, it uses RAD5, that's recombinant form of type 5 human adenovirus. Both deliver gene for glycoprotein S of SARS-CoV-2. So till now we have seen the usage of same vectors in homologous prime boost and usage of different vectors in heterologous prime boost for delivering the same antigen. Now let's see the differences within our body when we encounter these vectors and see how our immune system responds. When we get the first dose of AstraZeneca or the Sputnik V vaccine, using vectors as CHADOX1 and RAD26 respectively. Then first of all, we get the immune response against the vector and its components. And then vector is taken up by the cell and a gene of interest is expressed into S protein of SARS-CoV-2. And finally, we have the immune response against the S protein, which we actually want. Moreover, in these events, the priming of immune system is launched, where our immune system remembers the first contact of the antigen and its interaction within our body, because priming is essential for subsequent interaction. Now we have to go for second dose, that's booster immunization. In second dose of AstraZeneca, we use same vector, that's CHADOX1, whereas in Sputnik V vaccination, we use RAD5 as a vector, which is different from the first dose of vector, where we used RAD26. So we say AstraZeneca vaccination is the homologous prime boost, whereas Sputnik V vaccination, where we use two different vectors, is termed as heterologous prime boost vaccination. So in case of vector 1 for AstraZeneca, the immune system is already primed for CHADOX1 during its first dose. So what happens when our immune system encounters the same vector? It launches immune response towards the vector 1, tries to eliminate it. So we can say elimination of vector by immune response inducer against vector 1 by priming. And in this case of homologous prime boost vaccination, we have the same immune response or just a little bit of boost. Now moving towards the heterologous prime boost vaccination. Our immune system is not primed for RAD5 
because this is different vector than the first dose vector but it delivers the same antigen so this heterolog prime boost focuses the immune system on the vaccine antigen there is no interference due to priming and due to all these factors we get the enhanced immune response and more antibodies are getting produced in this case whereas when we see the homologs method we get the standard immune response and less or same antibodies are produced as we saw in its first dose of administration so that's why in case of sputnik 5 vaccination which devises heterolog prime boost method we have seen efficacy shooting above 90s that's all due to the usage of different vector but delivering the same antigen i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up do consider supporting my work on patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel thanks